first sight, the image does not resemble a cadaver. But it could be <clears throat> the strangeness of a cadaver is also the strangeness of the image. What we call the mortal remains evades the usual categories. Something is there before us that is neither the living person herself nor any sort of reality. Neither the same as the one who was alive, nor another, nor another thing. What is there in the absolute calm of what has found its place nevertheless does not realize the truth of being fully here. Death suspends relations with the place, even though the dead person relies heavily on it as the only base left to her. Yes, the fact is, is that that base is lacking. The place is missing. The cadaver is not in its place. Where is it? It's not here. Yet it's not elsewhere. Nowhere? But the fact is that then nowhere is here. The cadaverous presence establishes a relation between here and nowhere. First of all, in the mortuary chamber and on the deathbed, the repose that must be maintained shows how fragile the ultimate position really is. Here is the cadaver, but here below becomes a cadaver. Here below, speaking absolutely with no up there, exalting itself any longer. The place where one dies is not just any place at all. One does not willingly transport these remains from one spot to another. Death jealously secures its place and unites with it to the very bottom in such a way that the fact that it is nevertheless just any place at all becomes the depth of its presence as death, becomes the support of indifference, the yawning intimacy of a nowhere without difference, yet one that must be situated here. Remaining is not accessible to the one who dies. The deceased, we say, is no longer of this world. She's left it behind her. But what is left behind is precisely this cadaver, which is not of this world either, even though it's here. She's rather behind the world. Something that the living person, and not the deceased, has left behind him and which now affirms on the basis of this the possibility of a world behind, a return backwards, an indefinite survival, indeterminate, indifferent, about which we only know that human reality, when it comes to an end, reconstitutes its presence and proximity. This is an impression we can call common. Someone who has just died is, first of all, very close to the condition of a thing. It's a familiar thing that we handle and approach, does not keep us at a distance, and whose soft passivity reveals only its sad impotence. Of course, dying is a unique event, and someone who dies in your arms is in some sense your fellow creature forever. But she's dead now. Everyone knows action must be taken quickly. Not so much because the stiffness of the cadaver will make it more difficult, but because very soon human action will be displaced. Very soon there will be undisplaceable, untouchable, riveted to here by the strangest kind of embrace, and yet drifting with it, dragging it farther below, no longer an inanimate object, but someone. The insupportable image and figure of the unique becoming anything at all. 